Yes. For work. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poorer. <laughs> Uh, we hit that snag about 20 times in counseling. Bria made it very clear to Jonathan, you cannot be broke. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. <laughs> we didn't talk about that one in counseling. We did talk about that in counseling. Yes, we did. So you want me to repeat that again? You want to just keep going? I think we can keep going. Okay. I have so many in a million words to say to tell you how much I love you. But one thing I want to tell you and promise you, Miles, is that I'll forever, I'll forever submit to you. I'll forever submit to you. I'll forever submit to you, Miles. I'll forever respect you, Miles. I'll forever honor you, Miles, as the head of our home. Okay, what do you think about the first video? The first video, the woman does it one to three. Like, she does it totally want to hear the word obey. She doesn't want to obey or submit. Yeah. She said, what about the part he said, um, uh, for richer, for poorer? Yeah, she doesn't want in poor. She just wants in rich, in rich scriptures only. Okay. And so what do you think about that marriage? What do you think about that situation? Man, that marriage is very hard. As a woman, our, our job is to obey for our man. Like, we need to obey. If we don't obey, or someone is not going to respect us. It's like, it's two way. If you respect yourself, or you, if you respect the man, he will respect you. Why would you want to be under your man? You're saying you obey your man, whatever. Why don't you feel disrespected by that? Why should I feel disrespected? Of course, a man he has to plan for the family, and so, we have to support the man. So, what if what if you had your own ideas? What if you have your own ideas, and you don't like the man's ideas, what he's doing, the way he's going? What I need to do is to to listen to you first. I give you a chance to tell me more about it. You know, my job is to listen to my man and follow him. Do you, do you not see how many women will think that you are brainwashed, like you are, there's like something wrong, that you don't want to have your own, be your own independent mind, that you just want to use the man's mind, you don't want to use your mind? I think if, like, you guys are a couple, you have to understand each other. You have to understand your man, right, as a woman. That's why we are called women, and are, that's why he is called a man. We can't be a man, even if we try to do everything, everything, a man is always a man. It's not about brain, being brainwashed or something like that. We just have to know that in mind, that a man is a man. Um, the, second, the second woman, the second woman, she went down on one knee and she was very saying, I want to submit and all of that. So which one do you think is right and which one do you think is wrong? The one who's right is, some, is the one who knelt down. Okay, so why is the other woman wrong? What has she done to be wrong? The other woman, she is not even willing to show, like, you know, you, you can't even show respect, like, show respect to your man in front of even others. But this one, she has tried in her face. Like, she knelt down, she showed the man, even the man inside his heart, he's very happy, knowing that, yeah, I'm taking the right person. She's going to respect me, she's going to value me, she's going to see me as a king. You know, a man is always, no, that's why they say a man is a king, a woman is a king. Isn't she worried that the man is going to treat her like a slave? Like, okay, if the woman is going to kneel for me, then she must give me my food on time, she must do all of the things like the way I want it, like she's my slave, I own her. That's not, like, I don't see how that it's called even a slave. I don't see even why a man should disrespect a woman because she had knelt down. I think that's even where a man is going to say, wow, I have the perfect wife in the world. Because all men want ladies who can understand what they want, but, like, who can understand what they want and who can obey them. You kneel for that man 
you know that he is going to be the husband or the love of your life, you know? Because, you know, that, that's why, like, not all women kneel for every man. They kneel for that man, for, like, for that man whom they love, whom they think that they are going to spend all their lives with them. Like, you know, you can kneel for everyone, like, for every man you find on your own, you kneel, kneel, kneel. You just have to kneel for that man you love. Like, why is it hard for you to kneel for your man? Why, why can't the man kneel for the woman? Really? Like it's the love of his life. He respects her. Why can't? Why? Do, why should the man not kneel for the woman? Because he's a man. You can kneel for a woman when you're asking for like marriage or something. What? What do you say about the men that look at the woman kneeling and they like the fact that the woman is kneeling and they want that for themselves? So they say, okay. Women in America, women in Europe, they don't kneel for their men. So I'm going to find a woman in Africa that kneels for, for me because they want a woman to be submissive. I think it's fine. Because in life, you just have to do what makes us happy, what makes us feel that we are, no? What do you say to the women that say that they do that because they can't find a woman in their own country, so they come to look for a weak woman in Africa. I think it's okay. What do you think? You think it's not okay? I think people who think like that are those people who can't obey for their man, for their mate. Because they think they're high. They think they have everything. They think, you know, and you can listen it, but those, those ladies who are saying, I can't live for man, I can't live for man. They may say, I want a man who has a car. I want a man who has this and this, but you can't some meet and at the same time you want a rich man okay that's why a man is going to move from the from from, from your country then he goes to africa to feel like a man it's because the girls know how to handle the man or maybe to to respect the person i shouldn't say that the truth is whether you have money whether you don't have money whether you have everything in life or lady they need a man they need marriage like they, they, you know, I don't know even how to say. It. Even if you're rich, even if you have everything, you it's not going to change you from being a woman. You're going to be a woman still. You need a man. Like there's even some things you need to do, but because you don't have a man, you can't do it. I think it's com uh, companionship and support, right? Like you can support each other, right? You support each other, and um, there are. Th things that a woman is better in the relationship than a man and there's things that a man is better suited than a woman going back to the wedding videos yeah so what do you think the african mentality is like let's say i have a job and then i lose my job and now i'm not making money like how do you think about your man in that situation okay um i'm going to to make an example myself now for example i have a man my man has lost everything. My job is to be behind my man. My man is like, you know, he's broken. He's hurt, what and what. He's feeling bad. He has lost his job, what and what. My, my job is to encourage him, to tell him, babe, we can do it. If I have money, I can also provide at home if my man doesn't have anything. Not to, no, not, like, not to me saying that, ah, my man doesn't have money, then you may run away. Even if you run, even still that man, if you go to another person, he will also get poor. Are you going to keep on running? That means you, are, you have to stay here where you are. And you try to build that man. He will go back to, like, he'll, he'll get back his riches. Then that's how life is going to be. Life is not about running, what and what. But think about that, that person who's not willing to obey. That means she's even ready. Like, if a rich man comes in a way, that means she can leave that guy. I think that's actually the mark of a strong woman, right? It's a woman that says, even though the circumstance is bad now, I'm going to stick with this because that's the more difficult thing to do. When things are going difficult to stick with a, with a man, then that shows strength. But if, if every time there's a problem, the woman runs away, it shows weakness. It doesn't show strength. She's very weak. 
Mm. And I'm sure in her mind, she thinks that that's the strongest part. So what do you think about the man? Like, she thinks the man has to be the provider. Oh, provider. Like, is the head of the house the provider? When you get married, you become soulmates and you become one. Okay, but I, I will, you just, we just got married. You went on your knees and you told me, mm-hmm. you told me whatever, to whatever happens, you're ready to submit. So now you see this sofa, mm-hmm. I'm going to stay on this sofa now every day. <laughs> and then you, you're going to go make all the money. Then that means you giving me the position of being a man. You, you become a woman to start home, <laughs> to let me go up. Okay. Not so? Do you have any problem with that? A man, you, a man, you have to work, and a woman has to work. You guys, you need, you just need to help each other. That's how you're going to make things work. No saying that a man, especially a man, a man, is, you have to work, and I also have to work. My job is to add on you, add on what you have. So how am I going to add on what you have when you're sitting in a sofa? Think about it. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Well, I've tried to ask I tried to ask the questions that I think women in America, women in in Europe will ask about kneeling down. Do you have any Okay, your kids, will you teach your kids to kneel? Oh. Me I grew up kneeling. Mm-hmm. Kneeling for even those people who are older than me just one year like this. Mm-hmm. So what do you expect from me really? They have to kneel. Okay. They have to kneel. They have to give, uh, like, they have to give other people, like, food, greeting, what and what, when they're kneeling. Because kneeling is part of respect. And, you know, when you kneel, you feel good. Why do you you feel good? I don't know. You feel like, I don't know. It's even hard to tell. It's something emotional. You feel like, yeah, I've respected someone. Okay, you 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 feel like you're doing a good job. I'm doing the good job. Me when I when when you know sometimes you know here in Kampala, there are some people you kneel down and they say no 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 don't kneel down don't kneel down don't kneel down. But you know when that's me as long as I've played my part and I've respected you, I feel I still feel good. However much you don't like it, as long as I've given you the respect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So what I want to say. For the people watching, is that I've been with Medina in in the city in Kampala, and for example, one time we went to um, her old workplace, where the first jobs she got. There's an area where she was working, and as we were walking there, there was an old man sitting down, and as Medina walked past, she kneeled down to greet the guy, to greet him. Right? You remember that? Yeah, yeah. So um that shows respect to the old man. Now, I think an old man like that, he's working there. He has all the wisdom. He's the reason why you got the knowledge of your time there. Part of the reason, as well as the other lady and all of that. Those people are the people that are raising your you in your career. They might not be your father in your home. But those people are adding um, help, building you, showing you how to make the right decisions in business, right? And he spent all of his life learning those skills, right? That he's worthy of respect. He's an older guy. He's worthy of respect because of the experiences he has and that he took the time to help you on your journey in life. And we come across those people, teachers, um, you know, bosses. It's not everybody that treats you well, but for the ones that treat you well and t- took the time to give you knowledge. And it's not just they gave you knowledge for free. It's back and forth. You were working, also playing your part as a junior, and he was the senior, right? So he was benefiting from your labor and you were benefiting from his wisdom. So I think, you know, it's kneeling is re, re, kneeling in that culture is understanding that dynamic and then acting out your respect for that dynamic. 
it's not a situation of somebody demanding that you must kneel. I don't think that guy would ever ask you, you must kneel down to me. It was offered by you first, right? Yeah. Anything more you want to say about those women? Okay. Um, you know, most of you know most of them are going to judge me. I'm sure. Right. And me. Um, they're going to judge me. They they may think that maybe um, you know, they're mistreating me, they're brainwashing me, or something like that. But I just want to tell me to to tell them that. Um. A man is a man, whether we like it or not. Whether we like it or not, whether we, we are rich, what and what, a man is going to be a man. He's always going to be a man. Even if we try our best to do what men does, still we are going to be ladies. We just have to respect them. But then, me, what I what, what I I learned about this, by then, what you give to a man, it's what you get. If you respect him, he's going to respect you. But if you, you know, if you create troubles, every time troubles, you don't listen to him, you don't do this, he's also, he also, he's also not going to listen to you. That's why we are going to be fighting. And a man feels bad when you try to become a man, when you're not giving him his place to be a man. You know, it's important. You have to choose a good man first. Like, you have to choose the good... Because if you choose the wrong guy, you can be in a bad situation. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? Like... I know that. What do you, do? you choose a, If you choose a guy that doesn't have the... He doesn't himself have the respect of a man. Or he doesn't have mm -hmm. respect for a woman. You know? Mm. then when you submit to him, you're going to be in trouble. So you have Then to... that's not a man. <laughs> okay, but you have to choose wisely. You know? Both of you have to choose yeah. wisely. Yeah, yeah. Then, you know... Okay. Well, he has to be worthy to kneel, for someone to kneel. To kneel? Yes. Yeah. Babe, this is why I'm, I'm saying that there is a difference between a boy, a man, with, and a man. You know, I'm talking about a man. If I talk about a man, it means that man who can understand what I'm talking about. You know, who's worthy to be nailed to. Because there are men who are, there are men who are putting on trousers and they call themselves men. Those are the men who don't respect their ladies, who are going to mistreat the woman because has nailed down, you know? But a man, trust me, a man, a man, a man whom you can kneel to, who always treats you well. <laughs>